Hi guys, it is Thursday. I'm Melissa. You're watching Lord on a Dime. Please like, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the idea of this video is to one tell you what my first month of sales ended up being, how much I sold, and what I uh, profited. Um, and then the other is to tell you why I eBay. And I think it's kind of important. Um, everybody has their own story. Everybody has their own reasons. Um, so I thought I'd let you know mine. Okay, first off, um, I've eBayed on and off for about 15 years. I decided this time uh, to try my hand after watching some videos um, certain people it gave me an idea in the past. I've only sold children's clothes um, That's what I knew. That's what I was comfortable with. That's what I sold uh, I never ever thought I would start selling adult clothes um, But I finally Took the plunge and I'm actually very very happy. I did Ooh, let's see here um, So when I decided to get started on this um, was the beginning of November and I thought okay well, I'll give it a month and see what happens see if it's worth it um, I did dive right into it and for the month of November I made one thousand twelve dollars and seventy three cents now after you taking out fees for eBay fees for PayPal um, pre uh, the cost of sourcing I pocketed $701.25, and I think that's more than worth it. Um, so that's my first month. I hope to only grow from there. Um, the reason why I eBay. I am a divorced, single mom of four kids. Um, when... I got divorced um, I had only been a stay-at-home mom for 16 years um, I got married at 21 I had my first baby at 22 so I never really worked um, and my ex-husband husband at the time decided that we that I would stay home with the kids and I would do the room mom thing or you know be there to drop them off and pick them up from school so for that many years that was my job so during that time um i did have extra time on my hands so i dabbled in ebay here and there at some points like i said i only ch did children's clothes um there were points when i was making some very good money um we were lucky and fortunate enough that um, my husband, ex-husband, um, what he brought home paid all our bills and, and whatnot. So this was extra, this was fun money. This was money that um, we could just take off and, and go out of town for the weekend or we could just go on a little shopping spree. It was our fun money, it was our play money. Um, of course, every once in a while we had to use it for emergencies, but that, it was there, that's what it was for. So, then the divorce happened. Um, we actually separated three years ago. Um, the divorce wasn't final until a year and a half ago. So there was a year and a half that we were in limbo. Had no um, court order for support or whatnot. I was going through a lot of medical problems at the time. During this time, um, I actually got into the Dollar General penny shopping, and that um, I would collect a bunch of stuff and then take it to the flea market or I would sell it on Craigslist, and it's absolutely what kept me afloat um, during this time where um, support was limited. Uh, I never knew when I was going to get some because it wasn't um, required through the court yet. So um, it. It was a way that I was able to still stay home with the kids, um, get my medical condition, you know, problems out of, in control, and not have to be somewhere, you know, nine to five every single day. 
and it kept us afloat. Then we got to a couple days before the final divorce hearing. We had, um, oh, what's it called? When you sit down with each other and, and you try to, to um, figure things out um, between yourselves instead of letting the judge decide for you. And um, I had told him, my ex-husband, um, I gave him a support amount that I would be comfortable with and would be able to supplement what I was already doing just to um, pay the bills and, and to stay afloat. Um, like I said, I had only been a stay at home mom. I'd never had a job. Um, my lawyer, you know, said, you know, go for this temporary alimony because you're going to need training of some sort. You need to get your health under control. Um, it, it, so, and not to get too much into it because technically I'm not really allowed to, um, he did bad things. He was not a good man. Um, he might have been good for a good part of our marriage, but things that I found out after the fact, um, let's just say I'd still deal with him on a daily basis that ruffles my feathers and uh, just annoys me. <laughs> and um, so I didn't feel bad about him. I don't want to say he owed me, but he, it was his responsibility. Let's put it that way. I mean, I don't, I'm not one of those, and I never thought I was one of those people where it was like, take him for all he's worth, you know, when you get divorced. I understand the meaning now of rehabilitative alimony or permanent alimony. And technically, actually, for the time that we were married, if it had been like six months more, I could have gotten permanent alimony. Would I have gone for permanent alimony? I don't know. But I was fine with the temporary. So when we went to this meeting, back and forth, um, I had given him an amount. Um, he agreed at first. Um, later on, I found out that he decided he would rather take the chance and let the judge decide. So we went to court. Um, he was ordered to pay almost two times what I had originally asked for. I'm fine with that. I'm sure that he regretted his decision. But again, it's rehabilitative, so it's for five years, and I'm already a year and a half into it. Um, thankfully, some of my health issues have gotten better, and within the next year, I'm going to decide exactly what I want to do with my life, because I don't think that eBay is going to, um, you know, be a full-time job ever. Um, so, the reason why... I decided to get back into it. Um, currently, <laughs> my kids and I live with my grandmother, and um, it was just a, um, a living situation that I had to get my kids out of. Um, so uh, every dime besides bills goes to our moving fund. We should be able to uh, move out by the end of January. Um, but then I started wondering how I was going to pay for Christmas. Um, and that's how this all started was, okay, well, let me do a little eBay. So I started doing some video watching on YouTube just to get some ideas, some inspiration, and it kind of blossomed from there. So I didn't expect it to get as big as it did the first month. I didn't expect to get as into it as I did, but now that I've started doing it, um, I want to just get bigger and bigger because, like I said, I'll never do like a full-time job out of it, but you know what? For the next three and a half years, any extra, anything I could put into savings um, doing this would be fantastic. I wanted to um, insert this extra video real fast to let you know um, 
I have my kids every other week. Um, every Friday we switch off. Um, on the Friday or on the weeks that I don't have the kids, that's when I can really put my all into eBay. Uh, since it's just me, um, I can do and go where I need to go. Um, and I frankly enjoy it, so that's what I choose to do. On the weeks that I do have the kids, well, let's go back to the weeks I don't have the kids. I'll go to thrifting and sourcing five times during the week, maybe. Um, I'll list three times during the week. Um, I ship every day. Uh, when I do have the kids, I'll probably source twice, maybe, in the week. Uh, list, I save everything until the end of the week when I don't have them. Um, a Friday night or so and I'll list and I'm still shipping every day but it's still um, a lot less when I have the kids um, as to why I'm doing the videos is inspiration from other eBayers um, and resellers um, I know that I have a pretty drab voice um, people make fun of me if I try to change it I don't have a face for camera uh, I'm not, you know, thrilled, like I said before, with my body size, seeing it on camera, but um, mainly the reason that makes sense for making the videos is because I want to share with other people to learn that they can do the exact same thing. Anybody can do this. Anybody. Um, the selfish-ish kind of reason why I'm doing it is because it's fun. Um, it's it's nice to be able to share what I've learned, to be able to share what I've found and how much it's sold for. Um, it's inspiration. Other people have inspired me. I hope I inspire other people. Um, and that, that's pretty much the reason why I eBay and how I've done so far. And I hope that um, it goes on. And gets bigger and make more videos and get more watchers and um, and inspire people and that's what my hope is I hope you guys have a great night it's raining here in South Florida it's hot but it's raining so it's nice you can hear it in the background um, like comment subscribe again let me know that you are listening good night